did fame ever get to your heads when you were when you first got started out and people were actually knowing all the names to your songs and uh, you know man i mean <laughs> <laughs> the way this band came up, I, I never really felt famous ever. You know, I still don't at this moment. No, quite Aww, honestly, no. poor Robbie. No, quite honestly, I mean, I know people know <laughs> He's who not we famous are. Famous enough. I mean, I know, I know people know who we are. You know, you got to make a sex tape. Like, yeah, yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried. Then you'll get famous. Um, <laughs> it's like people won't share it. Got sixty, <laughs> sixty-three views. <laughs> 62 thumbs down. Took me all day. I'm just like, God! Ah. Thumb down, thumb down, thumb down. I don't even remember what we were talking about now. We were talking about your sex tape. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whether fame ever got to your head, but you... Yeah, no, no, no. I mean, I don't, I don't think I don't think John or I ever felt like like yeah. like celebrities, quite honestly. No. You know? I mean, no. we were guys in a band. We play music. People, you know, take the music we play. You know, and that's awesome, and we share that with them. But I, I, I don't know. I've never really yeah. felt like a celebrity here. Yeah, because that's 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 crap. Yeah. That's crap. You know what I mean? It's 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 cheap currency. You know, and it's like I, what I'm a songwriter, and that's more important than being a rock star. You know what I'm saying? Like like yes, I'm dressed dressed up like a French hipster <laughs> today. Um, You're playing the role because I'm a rock star. <laughs> yeah. Right now, <laughs> but when I walk out there, I'm a songwriter, and, I, and I'm a guy that has to go home and pay the bills and and answer to my wife and my two year old, and you know, and just real life is so awesome, you know, and that part. Well, when we got quote unquote famous, that's when I started having troubles. That's when I circled the wagons. Um, deleted a ton of phone numbers, took a lot of shit from a lot of people because we had done well, you know? And and um, uh, and it was almost like I had done something wrong, you know? And I'm like, I all I did was work my ass off and got lucky, and you're going to give me shit for that? Forget it. And then, you know, and then, um, and then the idea of not, of having it taken away from you. I mean, really, generally, there's two things in life that we're all afraid of. We're afraid we're not going to get what we want, and then when you once you get what you want, you're afraid someone's going to take it away from you. So, so I was dealing with both of those things. I was dealing with both of those issues, and and um, you know, it took a long time to get out of it. But when you you know, um, we got some good advice from our manager. You know, he was like, "Keep your heads down and keep working." You know, and and um, things things got real intense. You know, but uh, you know, but we we um, we got through it. We stuck together, which surprises me. I'm surprised Pat, our manager, stuck with us. You know, because I was an asshole to him, pretty much. <laughs>